have almost opposite records in one run games. Altuve, as Blummer mentioned, is going to be ready on that first pitch, and he sends it down the left field side, but foul. But no rain in the forecast, at least for now, so the roof is open. And Altuve looks at two strikes after he went after the first pitch. So Castillo picks up a strikeout last 16 here at T-Mobile Park, and their starters have been the main reason for it. Kyle Tucker sends this one to center field. Julio Rodriguez drifts to his right and puts it away for the second out. Relock him back in, having some quality at bats. This ball hit pretty well to left field. Luke Rayleigh back on it. He's near the wall, and he makes the catch on the warning track. This will be his first start at T-Mobile Park. He did pitch here out of the bullpen in that crazy 18 inning one nothing game. But he is. And he goes down on strikes here. Hunter Brown picks up a first strikeout on the first battery face. Don't make me say it. I don't want to say any of those numbers. I know but it's terrible. It, it is what it is. We're a third of the way through the season and they are dead last. In all those categories in the first inning. All of them in the first inning. How about you? Rojas off and racing on the first pitch, and he's going to get in head first with a slide. That'll be his fifth steal of the season as he moves into scoring position. Al Rodriguez singles into right field, being waved around is Rojas. And the throw will be just a little late. The first inning woes continue for the Astros. As Julio Rodriguez is now seven for his last 13. Have been a game that was waiting for one run to win it. A little tapper. It's going to find its way to left field. Rodriguez taking a chance, and he will be out at third base. J Rod just ran into an out. It was right in front of him. He stopped. Which was in that thought process. Nice. Thank you very much. Nice pitch by Hunter Brown. That helped Hunter get out of the inning as he uses a splitter to strike out Luke. Castillo has the third highest percentage of fastball usage. Jeremy Pena gets into one to left field. Back on it goes Rayleigh to the wall. Leaps and makes the catch. May have saved the home run. JP making a bid. Great play by Luke. Rayleigh keeps this a 1-0 lead. And now Bregman serves the next pitch into center field for a base hit. Alex Bregman has his second career hit against Castillo in 15 at bat and fastball. As he sends one to center field, back goes Julio Rodriguez, and J. Rod puts it away for the second out. Outfield plays pitch over and have a fade nicely. That one's yanked inside, and that'll allow the Astros to put two runners on. on the... This one slowly hit towards third, charging his Rojas. He'll make the throw to first, and that'll do it for the Astros in the second inning. Robert Valdez, Justin Verlander, those are your three choices. Send your votes to at Space City 810. Today, starting at second base, all acquired in that deal. Swing and a miss. Hunter gets Canzone to expand the zone a little bit. That'll be number three for Hunter and strike. And he strikes him out on three pitches. So Hunter Brown with four strikeouts of the first eight batters, two away. Grounds this one slowly to Bregman. Couple of hops for Alex, and he throws out Bliss to end the inning. So a good inning for Hunter Brown. Yiner hitting ninth tonight as he strikes out on a pitch up. Luis Castillo, who struck out Altuve to start the game, picks up. Back, he just texted me. Uh oh. This one to right. Dominic Canzone still going back, but he eases up as he gets to the warning track and puts it away for the second out. A huge projected season sends this one into right center field converging is Canzone and Rodriguez and Canzone at the last second dies for it some miscommunication out there he felt good about those and could use some of that going forward he also said had a really really good bullpen to Cam Blummer and just felt really confident in some of the things he's been working on so hopefully some of those things those things will start to play for him here in these next couple starts Got in on him, broke his bat, looked at third. It may have had a play on Crawford, but he elected to take the sure out at first base as J.P. Crawford crosses over. Ground ball. Bregman will make the play on one hop. Look Crawford back to third and keep the runner there as he retires Julio Rodriguez. That's a big second out for Brown and the Astros. Three times in five plate appearances coming in. He puts this ball in play to center field. Jake Myers, though, should have a play on it and does to end the inning. So a leadoff double does not hurt Hunter Brown in the seventh, eighth, and ninth. 
Jordan Alvarez flied out to left his first time up. First pitch swinging. Pops one into shallow center. Coming on Julio Rodriguez. It'll fall in front of him for a base hit. Jordan Alvarez hit it in the perfect spot in between J.P. Crawford and Julio Rodriguez. Last night, Pena back with a 1-1 count. Now he grounds one to third, and this is a huge turn of event. That'll be a double play. No, Pena's safe. Now the Mariners could challenge that call. Pena goes again, and Bregman sends this one to left. Rayleigh going back on it. He's at the wall again, and this one, he'll watch a two-run home run. Alex Bregman hits number five on the season and turns a deficit into a lead. It's 2-1 to one Astros. Got ourselves a Braggy bomb here in the Northwest. Wasn't sure with that graphic we showed on yeah. the Pena home run whether that would carry out or not, but he got enough of that one. I was thinking the same exact thing, but he kind of got under there, scooped it, bombed it, putting the Astros on the board and ahead. Bregman had almost no success against Castillo coming into tonight. Just one for 14, but he's two for two tonight, and he gives the Astros their biggest swing of the night so far. Jake grounds one to short. Couple of hops for J.P. Crawford, and that's the second out of the inning. Back to that Breggy bomb. You'll see that slider on a match from Supermo coming out of the hand of Luis Castillo. Alex went down on those legs to get that and launch it. Just enough hang time. 362 feet to left field. So Alex Bregman hitting five hole tonight. Yeah, how about it? Call third strike. Castillo gets a strikeout to end the inning. But I've been to colder games in Seattle, so I can't complain. True. Three pitch strikeout. Hunter Brown making quick work of Luke Rayleigh striking him out for the second time. That's now five. And France goes down on strike. So Hunter Brown with a half dozen strikeouts as he picks up back to back strikeouts here in the right. Astros very good at not striking out. But yesterday it was nine strikeouts to five in favor of the Mariners striking out fewer times. But today Hunter Brown has struck out six and picks up his first. Three. <laughs> now Castillo goes upstairs with a fastball to pick up strikeout number four went away in the fifth. As he goes down on strikes here, back to back strikeouts for Castillo getting a Brayu. The All Star break, and then Seattle visits Minute Maid Park again in late September. Altuve punches one through the middle into center field. Altuve, another two strike hit for him. He's a two out base runner for the Astros in the fifth. He goes against George Kirby tomorrow. Yeah. Tucker sends one high in the air to deep left field, but Luke Rayleigh really has it lined up. And that'll do it for the Astros in the fifth inning. One hit, one left on. We're halfway home, 2 1 Astros. Softly hit. Bregman will charge in front of Pena, make the play on the run. Alex throws a strike for the first out. That's now seven in a row. Put into play pretty well to right center field. Jake Myers going back on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Got him. Hunter Brown hops off the mound with strikeout number seven. He has retired nine in a row and 12 out there. We're very, very confident in what he can do out there. I wanted to ask Blummer, though, that conversation. Look at him go. Nice work, Julia. <laughs> He's just playing right into our story with a base hit to lead off the top of the six. But Blummer, there is talk of that DH. Now two for three. He's going to go here on the three two pitch and Pena strikes out. Jordan's going to end up with a steal and he sees the ball in the center field. He'll get the third. Jordan with a career high second steal of the year. And the Astros have a runner on third base with one out. 0 and 2. Castillo going for the strikeout. Punches one and it's not going to be able to score the run. Ryan Bliss makes the play to first. So the Astros unable to get that run home. That's a Ground ball to third, and the Astros will not be able to take advantage of that stolen base in error as they fail to score here in the sixth inning. Still a two to one game. Where I go head first and just swipe this plate with my left hand. Breggy's got him for the first out of the inning. And Javi Lopez gets the ball. And he kind of gave me that nod like, yep, you might have been right. <laughs> Season high, eight strikeouts for Hunter Brown as he gets Julio Rodriguez. As good as we have seen Hunter Brown all year long as he gets another strikeout. Number nine. 
Hunter Brown in full command tonight. Yeah. Ball hit high in the air to center field, playable for Julio Rodriguez. And that's one away. John Singleton flies out to center. It's in there. Jose goes down on three pitches. Both has his first strikeout. Two outs here in the seventh inning. Against the Angels just gave up that two-run home run. But why not get him out with a good taste in his mouth? He struck out the last couple of hitters. He ends up with nine strikeouts, and he appears to be done after six innings. That's a nice pitch. Call third strike at the outside corner. Brian Abreu drops in. A breaking ball. Hunter Brown, but then he really locked them down the last five innings. Oh, wow. Nice pitch. What a pitch. Brian Abreu. Two called third strikes. Just dot pinpoint. Golfs this one in the shallow left. Bregman out. Alvarez in. Bregman with the call. Jordan says, get out of my way. And Bregman scurries away to make sure he's not running. Now Tuve goes after that pitch off the plate, and that'll be a strikeout for Saucedo for the first out of the eighth inning. Double play. <laughs> Tucker is going to draw his 44th walk of the year. Came into the game tied with sprint around the base pass for the Astros. Goes after this one and pops one up on the infield, just beyond the infield. Ryan Bliss, the second baseman, hangs with it and makes the catch for the second out. Tucker looks like he wants to go, but he stays, and the pitch is grounded towards third. Bobbled, but Rojas stays with it to make the play for the final out of the inning. So a walk, one man out and grounded out tonight, facing Hunter Brown twice. This ball hit down the line and left, and that'll be down for a hit and to the wall. Hanniger gets into second base with a leadoff double in the bottom half of the eighth inning. First base hit for the Mariners since the leadoff hitter in the so far. Maybe go to that slider down and away. Gets past Yiner Diaz. That's a big 90 feet. Tying run now to third base with nobody out. Infield in, 3-2 pitch coming. That's going to be a walk. After getting ahead 0-2 on two bad bunts, the number nine hitter has walked. Got him. That's a better fastball. Fastball up, strikes out Crawford. Ground ball, knocked down but into the outfield will score the tying run going first to third is Bliss heading to second Rojas we're tied at two strike out on a curveball ground ball slowly hit runner coming home and no play for Bregman there his throw is wide that'll score another run Mariners take a four to two lead Rodriguez with a little tapper and Seattle has their first lead since early in the game was trying to figure out a way to strike out the nine hitter instead he walked him after getting ahead 0 2 on two bad bunt attempts and now Raleigh goes down on strikes strikeout number got him four strikeout tonight for Luke Rayleigh but damage done by the Mariners two hits in there Bregman goes down on strikes Ostana comes in and picks up a strikeout for the first out of the ninth it goes down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Stanek here in the ninth. But in danger of falling to five and a half back if they lose the first two games of this series. And Luke Rayleigh with this catch means the Astros have lost the first two games of this series. Frustrating night for Houston as they had a two-to-one lead late. Couldn't hold on to it with the Mariners scoring three in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And Ryan Stanek closing the door against his former team. So Seattle has won this game 4-2 to two after winning last night 3-2. to two. Our Astros postgame show presented by Whataburger will feature Kevin Etchefelder and Brian Bogusevic. A tough no decision tonight for Hunter Brown, who looked as good as he has been all of 2024. Highlights and analysis and Julia helping out with interviews after the game. Postgame show comes your way next.